welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today I'm going to be talking all about my most used eye brushes. This is a really exciting video for me to do because I have never done a video talking all about the brushes that I use and it's kind of a bit of an oversight because I use the same ones all the time in every video that I do a tutorial with. I've got so many eye brushes like literally and that's not all of them either. But these are my most used ones. These are the ones that I use every time I do a makeup look or nearly every time anyway. I use most of these brushes. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll tell you everything that I like about these brushes. So I'm gonna kick things off with the blending brushes and I'm gonna use my natural hair brushes first. I do have synthetic options as well, but the natural hair brushes that I use all the time are the Morphe M433 and the MAC 217. These two brushes are essentially pretty much the same brush, but the MAC one has bristles that are slightly longer. It does wash slightly better than the Morphe M433, but to say I only spent about five pounds on this one, and this one was nearer to the 20 pounds mark, they both perform very, very well. I would tend to use these either as my first colour that I put on my eye where I want it nice and blown out but I do want to be able to have some control over where I'm applying the colour. These are very fluffy but they are able to put the colour down in a very precise way. They're not going to be as blown out as something like this which is a huge blending brush but you are going to have more control and they do blend out very very well. Both of these I have had for a long time. I think I've had the Morphe one about 18 months and I've had the MAC one about two years. They're both the same in terms of being soft. They both feel exactly the same. A lot of the time I will not notice which one I've reached for because they look so similar and they feel so similar. I will not tend to look at which one I'm reaching for. I will use either or and they both feel pretty much exactly the same. I've heard a lot of people have had problems with Morphe brushes shedding. I have not had that problem and um, they've just performed very, very well for me. You will not like these, however, if you are cruelty-free and vegan because they are natural hair brushes. You might prefer my next two brushes. And the next two brushes are the synthetic blending brushes that I have, and I have two that are very, very similar indeed. They are very, very, very similar, and they're from the brand Nire Beauty. I don't know if you'll have heard of them, but they're an affordable brush brand, and I really, really like them. They're cruelty-free, and they are vegan, and these two are the blending brushes. I have got the large shadow brush here and I've got the eyeshadow blending brush. Now as you can see they're very very similar but the large shadow brush is shorter and fatter whereas the blending brush is longer and slimmer. So I would use the blending brush for the sort of um, job of applying my first colour. It does a great job of applying it in a blown out fashion and you do get good payoff as well. They pick up powder very very well. People will tell you that synthetic brushes are not as good for picking up powder but these I do not have an issue with. They pick up powder very very well and the shorter fatter brush I find better for more precise work. It is a bit more densely packed so if you want to go right into the crease and put a deeper colour this is your guy. It does a great job. These both wash very very nicely. I've probably had them for about six to eight months maybe. I've had them from earlier in the year and I have loved having these. I use them very 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 often pretty much every time I do my makeup. They're great quality and they're very affordable. But the next brush is a flat shader brush and I feel like this is an essential for any look that I do. I have the MAC 242 here. It is a pretty short flat shader brush and it's quite narrow as well, which makes it great if you want to put glitter on and have a lot of control over where you're putting it. If you're putting pigments on, if you're putting any sort of shimmery shadow, it works very well as well. Doing a cut crease. I'm getting into the more precise brushes and I have one that I use for my lower lash line and this is by my Kitco and it's the 3.2 brush it's actually a lip brush it's called the my lip brush I will link everything in the description box down below so if you want to buy any of them you can do but I actually use it for blending out my lower lash line this applies product very very precisely and it does a great job of blowing it out and smoking it out it's thin enough that it can 
blend very precisely like once you've put your first color on if you want to blend it out with another color and just catch the very edges it is capable of doing that because it is so so flat and so thin it is very very soft it's not too dense so it does actually move the product the product around under your eyelid so i really really do recommend this for very very precise application you could even do shadow liner with this on your top lash line as well so this is a great buy so i do definitely recommend this brush too Next I've got another brush from Nero Beauty as well and this is the pencil brush and what I love about this is it is a very pointy pencil brush so it kind of does a two in one. When I compare it to a couple of the other pencil brushes I've got these are the E18 and the M321 by Morphe. These are very very rounded sort of bullet shaped pencil brushes whereas this one is a bit more pointed again it's synthetic hair. This is pointed at the top and then goes into your usual bullet shape. It is slightly rounded and tapered. This is great for applying your shadow in the outer corner very precisely and it does a good job of starting the blending for you as well. It definitely isn't a blending brush but what I like about it is if you put your your shadow on the outer corner of your eye it starts the process of the blending so that you can go in with a more precise blending brush after you have packed on the colour with this but it puts the colour exactly where you want it and it stays there which is what I really really like. So I've got two left and my next one is actually another blending brush and this is the Zoeva Lux Defined Crease Brush, it's a 224 and this is a very long, very slim brush, it's kind of all over the place because I didn't dry it properly but it is usually a bit more like this, I've not done a good job there. This is good at going in after you have applied your shadow very precisely. This is good at blending it out. It won't it won't drag your colour up too high. It'll just keep it nice and localised where you want it, but it does a great job of blending them out. Obviously, in the outer corner, you're not really going to want to go in with something like this, the, um, the earlier brush, because it will just spread it around a bit too far. You want something that's a bit more precise, but still does the job of blending. The final brush is actually not even a makeup brush but I love this so so much this is an art brush it is the De La Rowney graduate one quarter inch angle shader and this I use for either liquid eyeliner gel eyeliner or to do my brows and what I really like about this is this is longer and thinner than any eyebrow brush I have ever found if I put it next to the Anastasia one my previous go-to was the Anastasia Dual Ended Brush and this one is so much longer, it is wider and it is more thin at the end so you can get a very, very, very crisp line. I never carve out my eyebrows with concealer and this brush is the reason why it applies my pomade, my Anastasia Dip Brow so crisply that I don't actually need to go in with a concealer and carve them out because they are nice and defined as they are and the bonus of this is it is cheaper than most eyebrow brushes as well. I think any art store usually sells this for under £5 so it is an absolute bargain. So that is it for all of my favourite eye brushes. Those are my most used ones, the ones that I use time and time again no matter what look I'm doing. I will leave links in the description box down below in case you want to buy any of the brushes that I've talked about. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe before you leave and I will see you next time. Bye guys!